Hi friends. Everyone's doing super dandy today because for today's video, we are going to be knitting a two piece without a pattern from a drawing I did all by myself on my iPad. Okay, that's enough saying. But for today's video, I just drew this two piece right here, right here. And I feel like I'm at the beginner stage of knitting, my knitting journey, that I can just whip up a drawing and then just make it first try, no problem, no errors, no nothing. So that's what we're gonna try to do today and tomorrow because I feel like this is gonna be a two day project. But before we get started, I do wanna mention that today's video is actually sponsored by Ana Luisa. So thank you so much, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring today's video. I love Ana Luisa and I pretty much wear a piece of jewelry from Ana Luisa every single day. My absolute favorite thing about Ana Luisa, if you buy anything with gold or silver, it is actually made from recycled materials. Well, re recycled gold or silver. And all of their diamonds are lab grown. So I'm just gonna quickly show you the pieces that I chose from Ana Luisa. So for my earrings, I'm wearing the Ori earrings and they're just these simple studs, but they actually look like hoops and they're checkered. And then for my necklace, I'm wearing the Elsa Sunset and this one, <laughs> I just love how colorful it is. I love the way it's, it's pretty much just, it's me, it's, it's me. And then for my ring, I chose the Wander Adjustable Ring, which I love adjustable rings because then I can switch it from the index, you know, your pinky, all the way to, you know, your, your big thumb. And if you guys want to shop any of Anna Luisa's pieces, they are having a sale right now for Black Friday. You guys can get buy one, get one, 60% off. I'll have the link down below in the description to shop. So according to my sketch right here, I'm going to start with the waistband, and the waistband is this purple color. You could start from the bottom and work your way up, but I, I don't know. I just feel like the waistband is probably the best place to start. Also, Benson's here. It was his birthday a couple days ago. He's six years old. Happy belated birthday, Benson. So, like usual, I am just going to um, cast on a random number. Of stitches here, no idea. No idea how many stitches I need to do on here. So I'm realizing now I needed to be able to stretch over like the widest part of me, so my butt, because it's not gonna have a zipper, it's not gonna have anything, so I can just like put it on. So I need to make it a little bit bigger and then I'm probably gonna add elastic in there just to keep it snug so it doesn't fall down. So I did this many stitches. I haven't counted it. I think you'll be good. We're just gonna wing it. I'm gonna try to do some ribbing. If it's too big, we'll just restart. No big deal. Update. I have already made a lot of adjustments to my skirt because I realize now that I've started my skirt here, well one, it's easier probably to do it in the round so it's just gonna be a skirt so that'll probably be easier. And two, it's probably not gonna have an elastic band in it like I mentioned just because I realized if I wanted it to be like, <clears throat> sorry. This waistband here, here, you can see it's folded over. It's got two of the same sides, unlike the bottom in here. If I do that, like make an extra long waistband and then fold it in half, it's gonna be super bulky just because this is so chunky, this yarn. So we're just gonna hope that this ribbing is just gonna be tight enough and it will fold it up. It'll be good, otherwise. I feel like this is a good size for the waistband. Two, three, four, five, yeah, six rows. I feel, yeah, this is good. Let's change your color now. We're doing red next. So for the red, I have this big brand new ball of chunky yarn. <laughs> this is exciting because I bought this interchangeable set so I can change them when we're, we're in this, in, you know, situation. Bam, bam, chicken, turkey, guacamole. We got some new knitting needles on my project. So to add the new color, we, we just add it in. We just, you know, just toss it in there. Okay, so now I am just gonna continue on in the normal, you know, knit stitch, and I'm not gonna do ribbing because the ribbing's only for the waistband because we only want it really tight there. The only thing with this red is it low-key gives me kind of Christmas vibes. 
A little bit, right? I am just getting more and more excited as I watch this skirt grow. It is so cute. I just love the colors too together. Like the red and purple, they're just, they're just beautiful. To add stitches, I'm pretty sure. Okay, ready guys? So you take this needle, you put it through the middle here, pick up a stitch like that. And then instead of stitching, you know, through the front and then, you know, stitch. You do it through the back, the back door. Like that, loop it around, pull it through, kind of like this. Bob's your uncle, it's your, your increased stitches done. Yeah, that's, that's close enough. Next color, we need cream, right here. I really hope I don't look like Mrs. Claus when I wear this, or Santa Claus. This is my update. I thought this was enough white, so I was like, hey, let's switch over. So the next color is brown. And um, I forgot that this one wasn't wound up and then um, I tried to do this neatly, but it, it got into a ball. So um, this is gonna take a minute to try to wind this. A couple minutes longer than that. It's done. It's starting to get dark, which is fine because look what I finished. My skirt. Well, that's the back. That's the front. My skirt is practically done. Other than I do want to fix a couple things like the waistband. I tried it on, but it's like a little loose. Like it fits, it doesn't fall off the skirt, but I just want it to be a little bit more snug and just a little bit more perfect. So tomorrow I'm going to have to figure out how I can get the waistband in there and make it, you know, kind of, kind of nice, but overall, she looks really good. I did add this color in just because I really like this color, so I, I did one little stripe, but everything else is pretty close to my original sketch. Hi friends. So we've made it to day two and to start off day two, I got to finish the skirt and work on the waistband because I, I didn't do it very well yesterday. And my plan for this waistband to add, you know, the elastic band that I, sh you know, I knew from the start I should have added, but then I didn't because I was like, oh, you know, got a little lazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add stitches all the way around the top here and then work upwards. Will that work? I don't know. Let's, let's, you know, imagine this is going to work because I don't know if it will. I'm going to add the stitches, work upwards, and then I'm going to double the waistband and then we're gonna fold it inwards, you know, add the elastic, hand stitch it in. Bob's your uncle, it'll be done. For the top, I'm thinking about just making like a rectangle or maybe a front piece here and then a back piece and then connecting them and then adding some straps and then Bob's your uncle. Do you think I could get that all done in one day and I have other work to do? Also, I'm doing my first test live stream today, which I'm really excited about because we are just going to craft and knit and crochet and just, you know, have a grand time. So it's like five hours later because just because I, I had things to do, I did a live stream. That was pretty cool. I did that today. But now I can focus on my skirt here and I attempted to start to add the stitches and then I realized I didn't know how many stitches to add so I need to count them which I probably should have just you know done it from the beginning but I didn't so I'm gonna count the stitches add the stitches and hopefully add on the ribbing so you know I can fix the you know the waistband and then <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have time today to do the top so it's, it's definitely gonna be at least a three day or project and then it'll be done hopefully it's not a four day -er, but I'm yeah <sighs> Guys, I just figured out the best thing since sliced bread. And it was by accident. I didn't do this on purpose. I added the, you know, waistband here. So now it's extra long. And I was originally gonna just like fold it inside, 
you know, sew it together and the waistband would be good. But now I'm realizing it can go on the outside here like this. And I feel like that looks better. And I, I didn't plan that, that just, that just happened. I'm literally watching an Animal Crossing stream so right now. I don't know why I love it. I just love watching people play Animal Crossing. <laughs> and not play while they play. I just like watching it while I knit. I don't know why. And this was the day I sat on my couch and I watched six hours of someone playing Animal Crossing and I didn't even take a break. Like they took breaks, but I didn't. Like I was more committed to watching them play Animal Crossing than they were actually playing the Animal Crossing. Six hours straight, I watched someone play Animal Crossing. I took a nap and now it's dark out. So I wasn't as productive. I was hoping I was gonna be this afternoon. It's now after dinner and this is what I'm working with, a curled, top that's not looking too hot so far <laughs> and the reason why it's curling is because i didn't do ribbing at the bottom i was just like i'm just gonna do the basic stitch and it's gonna be perfect and it's not because it curls hello my friends hello my friends hello my friends uh hello so day I'm, I'm sick. You can we can kind of tell my voice, but I'm, I'm try my best not to sound sick. Does that sound better, kind of? I'm a, I'm, I'm sick, so whatever. I am not that sick though. Like I can still work. Come on, I can knit. <laughs> you gotta be pretty sick not to be able to knit. So I have this much of the top done. Did I show you this? I don't know. But I started the strap here last night, and you know my best work does not get done when it's dark and um, this kind of shows that I'm just like not very happy with this here like meh. so <laughs> I think I might take apart some of this redo it it's not gonna take me very long but I'm just working on the straps here I took it apart I just took apart all the red One strap done. <sighs> Friends, we are done the knitting part. So now all I have to do is just tidy this up, put it all together, attach the straps to the back put the elastics in, fix this bad boy up, and then we're done. We're pretty much at the unexciting part of, of this journey of making a two-piece. Because now I actually just have to get out my, my needle and just thread all these yarns through. Not very fun. This one especially. Then I also have to get my sewing machine out because I do have to sew a thick elastic in here. Also, did I, did I mention this? I don't remember if I did. I have this little baby elastic here that I'm gonna feed through the bottom of the top here and then that will keep it from curling and it'll also be more cinched and just looking better. So my solution for all my problems is elastic. Okay, all of the loose ends are done. I don't know how long did it take me, like an hour and a half to do all the loose ends. Like, it's flawless, kind of, it's, you know, it's good, it's good. So next step is just the elastic. Like, it could be done like this, you know, good to go. She could be wearable. This is the top. Again, wearable, but I'm not a huge fan of the curl there. It would look better when it's on because it'll be stretched out and more flat, but I'm just gonna add the elastic to the bottom here and here, then we'll try her on. So for the top, I'm just using like a super, super little elastic. So I feel like I can just thread it through, tie a knot, and then snap her in there and she's good to go. But for this one, I'm gonna need to sew the elastic together, so it's nice. So for the top, I am threading it through 
the bottom right here on the inside and I'm just gonna thread it through all the way just like this it fits guys it fits per perfect for the skirt here I am just using like this one is it a one inch I don't know it's like a one and a half inch it's just a big waistband and I'm using this so I just have to measure my waist and see how tight I want it that seems good. Yeah, I don't want it too tight, but I don't want it too loose. We just need it to be... Shoot. The perfect... Yeah, perfect. So typically in um, sewing, you would like thread this through and then, you know, is, you sew it on here, but I'm doing it backwards. I'm just gonna sew it into a circle because we're just hand stitching this thing down and I feel like that will work too. Perfect! She's done. She's done guys, so I'm gonna try her on. Are you guys ready to see this? Here we go. Ta-da! I am just like, first of all, very, very impressed with the fit of it just because that elastic in, you know, the top here and here is just like a game changer. Like it is a game changer adding elastic to your knitwear or crochet. Just it's, it's a game changer. Like I feel so comfortable in this. Like it is not going to rise up. Like I know it's going to stay in place here. I feel like it just fits really nicely and before it was just like kind of like not as nice fitting without the elastic so my biggest recommendation is if it's not fitting perfect add some elastic also this two-piece it just reminds me of chocolate raspberry or is it chocolate cherry no chocolate cherry just having the red and the brown especially up here I'm just getting very chocolate cherry vibes which is Kind of ironic because I don't like chocolate cherry ice cream or flavor. Like it's almost as bad as peanut butter or weight. No, I probably would have peanut butter over chocolate cherry. But that is it. So I'm going to go. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And thank you for watching today's video. If you're, if you're still watching, thank you. And have... Did I say have a good rest of your day? I don't remember, but have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.